All right, Redneck, GFG, Fat Pally, Ain. Is that it? How y'all doing? We're cooking really, really freaking late. Um, so we've got this camera, and then we have this camera, and back to this camera. Eventually I'll have three, so there'll be one from over here as well. <clears throat> And we're gonna have a proper place for that microphone. Uh, but how are y'all doing today? Um, I have to... Okay, so first thing we're doing is we're gonna be cooking just a quick stir fry, quick beef stir fry uh, for Julia and I, and we'll switch over to. Wait, oh my gosh, we can switch over to. Uh... To <laughs> the weird eating, the weird what is it called? Home. What is it? Social eating? Social eating. We can switch over to social eating and we'll sit here and eat in front of you. It'll be awkward. Um, I'll be me? No, Julia? it will be awkward. Okay. Just in general. Wait, you have to see what I tweeted instead. Okay. Um, kettle, kettle. I'm running out on food. Let's check it out. But after the. Uh, the help me a bit. Stir fry. I don't know. Then we're gonna be doing catch up. Uh, where's my good knife? I'm gonna have a hard time reading chat. I think. Oh yeah, I'm gonna make it bigger, and I can help. Right. Yeah, I'd love it. I'd love for this to be like a thing we do together. That wasn't. Okay. Oh look, there's my beauty. Okay. Beauty. Cooking with Vod and intriguing. Oh, wait, how much have you read? Should I got to uh, the mac and cheese with stewed tomatoes. That sounds really good, though. Just like mac and cheese. We can't have, uh... What is that stuff? Help me, babe. Grains. Okay, so... The reason I'm saying, like, it's a real simple or a cheater, uh... Stir fry is because I'm not gonna be using, like, fresh stuff. Don't cross it. Hey, no, get back. Get back. Go. Go, get back. All the way. Good girl. See, the problem is if I read chat, I can't be on screen and read chat, or else I'm right up against the mic. Oh, that's a little good point. You know what? You can pull it up on your phone. Oh, okay. I'll just pull it up on my phone. That's a really good idea. Uh, anyway. We're gonna do a couple of things though. Uh, so it's just some frozen, uh, frozen mixed veggies, and oh gosh, what was this? Chuck's Chuck roast, I think. No. So if anyone doesn't know, Julia and I are on a diet called Whole Thirty, and it's not a diet designed for you to, you know, lose a bunch of weight, um, although it could have that effect for you. Um, the design of the diet is to clear your system of irritants, basically. Um, anything that causes inflammation or uh, qualified allergic reaction. If you want, you can grab a chair. Okay, so I don't even on? know where I can You want to be on screen? No, I have a situation. I don't think there's a bit of pressure that you're doing right now. Oh, no, you don't need to be on screen. I can't even grab a chair right now. Oh, yeah. Um, here, I'll get it for you. I'm gonna sit on the floor right here for right now. That's fine. Do you want a chair? <sighs> Your mom wants a chair. Yeah, pretty much. Always. I'm also gonna be screwing down the floorboard so that we don't have squeaky, all the squeaky action. Uh, anyway, Whole30, after 30 days your body's clear of irritants and allergens and all that, and so you will uh, at that point be ready to start reintroducing things into your diet. Uh, it's a very restrictive diet while you're going through it. and. When you reintroduce, you don't just go hog wild. It's not like you go to a buffet and freaking throw down. Um, you actually are very methodical about it. 
and you pay attention to what the stuff that you're reintroducing is doing to you. Uh, you know, how it's affecting your health and your mental well-being and all that. Um, and then at the end of the reintroductory period, you've got a whole lot better knowledge, a whole lot better understanding of what you can eat and what you shouldn't eat and, you know, how it's going to affect you um, in very real, like, measured ways. If there's a chat going for responding, okay, no. Just wanted to make sure because I could totally see you sitting over there in silence and then be like, okay, now that he's done talking. <laughs> no, I'd interrupt you. The only thing that you've missed was Redneck Washington coming in and said, wait, where's Ramsey? This is going to turn into Hell's Kitchen real quick. So I'm going to take a couple of pieces of bread and walk over. What are you? What? Jordan Ramsey? There's that wonderful thing of him where he like literally has this girl, has two pieces of bread and he sticks them on her head. He's asking what she is and I don't remember what the proper answer was. I love that you are way more up on memes and like shit like that. Tater texted me the other day and was like, you need to go get a couple of pieces of bread and go up to Vaughn and uh, dang it, I'd open up, I can't, or else I'll lose chat right now. But you do it too. And I was like, I don't have bread. Right. And Tater was disappointed. And then I'd eat the bread and then we'd have to restart yeah. whole baby. Um. Idiot sandwich. Idiot DFG sandwich. got us. There you go. DFG also says he feels like you've been under a rock. He has been. He wishes he had been. Oh, hey, geez. gay joke. Ah, under the rock. Yeah. So, Julie and I hate red bell peppers, like, passionately, so I'm going through and picking out some of the bigger ones in here. Redneck Washingtonian said, a very large rock, like, stuffed down in the San Andreas Fault. The rock was in San Andreas! Yeah. I gotta say, though, if I was gonna go gay, it would not be with the rock. I couldn't handle that. That'd be too much. That'd be you, too you much. You can't uh, deal with what he's cooking? Yeah, no. What the rock's cooking up, I don't want none of. You know, too maybe much if you. I went gay, though, like just went gay, maybe after, you know, three or four different guys, would be like, yeah. It just make me feel insecure, though. You'd be like a hot like a trophy husband. Hey, I'm fine with being a trophy. Uh, boop. There we go. Can y'all even hear me on stream? Am I, I think I'm loud enough. I think I'm close enough. Yeah, you're picking up. Okay. So, we got the flame on high because we're going to be doing uh, stir fry. And I'm then this flaming. is, this is, uh, help me. What is it? Sunflower, Sunflower seed oil, uh, because unfortunately uh, we can't use butter on the whole thirty. I would use butter in this particular. Well, actually, no. I probably would use oil. Also, if any of y'all are in the new, in the uh, market for new pans, new pots and pans, the green pan, green pan is fucking amazing. Alright, so we're gonna let that heat up and we're gonna take this. You know what? I'm gonna actually do this. Yeah, that's better. Boom. You can kind of see what's going on. What's going on? Um, and I need to add my little pepper. Ian said peanut oil and carbon steel pan, man. I have a walk for this stuff. Oh gosh, I want to walk. Shamed. I want to walk. Also, though, to be fair, um, even if I had a walk, our flame is hardly big enough to actually use a walk effectively. Look who got a haircut. Oh, that looks nice. Right? So I'm going to have to go find that girl on the later. Because it's so cute. Let me actually grab... 
So legitimately, I find chopsticks to be one of the best kitchen utensils you can have. Provided you're, you know, halfway decent with them. Um, like I've got that, you know, this more traditional one. But the problem is you just smack stuff around. Amy said, use a flat bottom walk then. It'll help. You will get yeah. more heat through the flat bottom. Yeah. Or I could just get the money to get that industrial, uh, industrial range converted to propane. Ain said, didn't I suggest you get a long kitchen set of soft chopsticks You did. Before? You did. And I want very badly to, but work with what you got. Ains clearly knows food. Yes. Been, uh, they've been very excited for cooking streams. And see, this is this is what I'm talking about about our range not having the heat. Get off there. There we go. Is this is maybe two thirds of a pound, if that. I think I'm dying of plain beef. I have six bruises on my feet. That's a bit much. Oh, well, you have been waiting tables. Yeah, and those shoes are not good for me. Yeah. So yeah, this is this is maybe a third of a pound or two thirds of a pound of meat, probably closer to a half pound. Then it's already taken the skillet down to like nothing. I would do that meat in batches. Then it's streaming, it's steaming in the pan, which equals not good. Yep. Means. Yep. I'm going to let this go ahead and do its thing, and then the remainder of it I'm going to split into two batches. Go ahead, grow peel. Go ahead, grow peel. Yeah. Come on. I actually should have done it in my cast iron, but it's a little small in comparison. Well, you can't really tell how small it is. It's a 10 inch versus a 12 inch. Haynes said, reheat the out. pan before you put the oil in wouldn't hurt either, but that might not be a good idea with nonstick. Uh, it's not that bad with nonstick. Um, I actually use the oil as a temperature gauge. When it gets a shimmer on it, um, it's like a wavy look to it. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Um, usually that's good for this sort of thing, but it's a bit, a bit off right now. I'm also still getting used to this pan. Uh, the last 12 inch that we had had a much thicker, much heavier bottom. Why is your phone screen so dirty? Because it doesn't have the nonstick coating anymore, or the anti, the oily, oleophobic like coating anymore. Like it's got anymore. like food on it. Like where you swipe to open it? Mm hmm. It's probably from cleaning the kitchen, all that stuff. Okay, let me grab a bowl or something that we can separate this meat out with. Pull some of it out. Let the uh, pan get back to temperature. So get Still getting to where I can use the chopsticks from the far end. I usually, you know, if I'm eating, I choke up on them more. Ain said, before I got a walk, I did stir fry in 12, uh, a 12 inch saute pan, stainless steel. Heat as high as it can go and preheat the empty pan before I start. See, okay, if you weren't using nonstick for that, you can get not, you can get, you know, just a plain pan. I would say twice as hot, wouldn't you, babe? Before you're, before it's uncomfortable. Oh, Whereas with a, with nonstick, um, it's kind of uncomfortable. Like you get worried about it at about half the heat you would with a uh, regular pan. I'm gonna use half the heat. It keeps like moving, like it physically goes and turns white and then it comes back. Some weird bug right now. Um, I think that has to do with. You know, I'm gonna pour off some of this 
I'm gonna pour off some of this water. I think that actually has to do with... Give me a second, it will come to me. There's actually not as much water there as you might think. Look at that. It's right there. It's not much at all, it's weird. In fact, I... Sorry. That was hella loud. I would go so far as to say it's just... It's mainly the oil that's left. Interesting. I haven't used sunflower oil to saute anything. Okay. Let's go ahead and get... Yeah. Get this back in here. Let it go a little bit longer, see if we can get a little bit of a caramelization on it. You over there just hurting yourself? Or? No, you're I was you're, trying okay. to figure out how to put it in dual screen. I don't think you can. I can't. I just can't. Really? The problem is now I can't open something else without losing chat. Gotcha. You need to add stuff to my grocery list. I mean, you can pull chat up on my phone. But I have it on this neat, so it's another keyword. Uh, but I have it in chat only one. Does that not count? Nope, that does not count. There we go. Hi. Let it do its thing. Do you have my my new intro? Yeah. Oh my gosh, guys. So James Flame Star is doing me a an intro song. It's also gonna be bit uh, bits, subs, and follows, even um, alert sounds. There we go. Um and it is amazing. If you go check out his latest VOD, um, at the very end, I mean, he worked on it the whole the whole VOD, uh, the whole stream, but the very end, you get to like hear it basically in its entirety. Um, Pre-mix and master, so it's not quite done, but my gosh, I'm freaking in love with it. To this. Redneck Washingtonian said, I'm attempting the impossible. I'm trying to kill Predator and Ghost Recon solo. Trying to kill, kill Predator? Oh, a Predator drone? See, there we go. We're getting some caramelization on it. So on Hole 30, there's a lot of stuff we can't have. There's uh, Meat is one thing you can have. Just like, without any... Oh, frick's sake. There we go. Without any restrictions. Uh, actually, there is one restriction in there on meat. Something about, like, you can't have it just in ridiculous amounts. Basically, but that's, like, the same thing about, like, everything, right. pretty much. They, it's it's kind of, like, balance-wise, it's pretty much the same balance as the keto you, diet. Oh. We really need the, uh... I really need uh, several, like two more USB extenders. That way, I can put that. Over there, yeah. yeah. Redneck said, "No, Predator from Alien vs. Predator." They added them into the game. Oh my gosh, that sounds freaking awesome! All right, so I'm sure y'all heard how that was um, searing. Let me show you what we're shooting for. What we see if it shows up worth a damn. Yeah. There we go. So, some color on there, some caramelization on there. So we'll turn that back on. Um, we're gonna add some more oil and we're gonna do this again. We're gonna do it with the full amount. I'm gonna let this get hotter. Even though I'm not 100% you know, certain what is good with this. This is a ceramic coated pan. That's the nonstick. Um, so I feel relatively safe getting it pretty damn hot. After all, ceramic. Uh, ceramic really. You're sweeping my kitchen. Yeah. Oh, trust me. Wait. That. Wait. 
I saw that. Wait, but didn't I just clean everything? Yeah, and then oh, you see, that sounds better. Salt on the ground. That sounds better already. Yeah. All right, so I can definitely get that pan that hot, basically, which is good. Because you can... Uh-uh, no, ma'am. Hey, get back. Get back. Out. Out. All the way out. Come on. You can see that we have a lot, a lot less moisture just sitting on the pan, which is exactly what you want. Ames said ceramic should be able to take the heat. It's glass. It's temperature shock. So you, it's yeah. temperature shock you have to worry about. And even then, probably not worry too much. Yep. Well, and there we go. We just... And that is the one thing I don't like about this pan. It's thin. Yeah, I, I like it. If you like that it's I thin? I like it. It's it, like uh, controlling the... I feel like I'm controlling the temperature better. Oh, uh, well, that that's just a function of you need a little more practice with you no. know, thicker, heavier pans. No. Like, if I make eggs in that, I can... Like, I have... I'm not going to... Turn off the stove, turn around, and then burn the eggs in the process of then grabbing the plate and put the eggs on it. You see, I, I still think that's just you compensating for the fact that you have thick pants. That sounds like an insult, but that's actually a compliment. Even if you uh, take it's it to a dirty a place, it's just a fact. Dude, I thick pants. Okay, this chat. Thin pan. Chat. Thick or thin pans. Fat bottom pans Size or flat matter. bottom pans. Okay. Yeah, you were tin. Oh. Okay, I'm not saying I oh. burnt the eggs, but I get them to the perfect place where my yolks are oh, so. still totally runny and beautiful, and my whites are solid because I don't like runny whites. And then by the time I get it onto the plate, which is in seconds, not on this pan, but an old pan. So by the time it is on the plate, I now have our half of my inch. yolk is solid. On our old 12 inch, it's it, its bottom was twice as thick, and so consequently, it held heat, you know, twice as well. Like this is this is driving me insane right now. Ain said a pan should be sturdy enough to beat a burglar unconscious with. <laughs> Tangled. Yeah. That's selling. That's a selling point for me. My husband can vouch for it. I could exactly. totally beat a burglar with that pan, though. Well, I could. Just because of its if sheer that has size. To do with it, you know, if we're talking about pan density, I'm good. The real talk. Pan density. I, uh... Oh, you know what I should Ooh, do? Ooh, Ains just agreed with me. What? Ains said, thin pans... Oh, wait, no, I read this wrong. That's fine. We're not <laughs> going to read that. We're not going to read that comment. Thin pans are cheaper and prone to warping. Yeah, exactly. Redneck Washington was so close, but then got a saw blade to the face. Yeah, that would happen with the Predator. So is that a uh, Wildlands? Redneck? I wanna like I want a Bluetooth deal, like a controller. That yeah, actually they make those for presentations. Um, I need to get one of those, a Bluetooth um, presentation controller, presentation remote, because then I could just you know bind the different cameras to different buttons on the presentation remote. Or you can just hold a mouse. Or you can just hold a mouse. I'll take a pass on holding a mouse. Redneck said yes. Wildlands. Okay. So is uh, Predator in there just as like a bonus limited time thing or were they just like, this fits? So that caramelization in the pan, um, that's actually something that I, I dislike about uh, non-stick is that caramelization isn't building up. Um, and so you can't really deglaze the pan. Um, it's kind of a double-edged sword, because I'm not going to be doing something where I deglaze, you know, where I'm going to deglaze the pan. 
And for anyone that doesn't know what deglazing is, it's just simply adding some sort of liquid to the pan to um, detach all that caramelization that's stuck. Redneck said it's bonus DLC called the Jungle Move. It's free and they gave it to everyone. Oh, that's cool. Uh, Mead Viking said, Hey, Mead Viking, how are you today? Thank you for reporting board duty. Mead Viking said, Whoa, 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 wait. You're in Sweden right now? No. When, I don't know which one that emote is called. Hmm. That emote that goes like this. Oh, what face? Oh, I think that's what face. Alright, so I'm going to do something here. Y'all can judge me. It's okay. I'm going to throw all the veggies in because I just want to get there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's about the destination, not the ride. Um, okay. I can use the ghee for yeah, veggies, ghee is right? Yeah, veggies. Okay. According to Alton, now you're not supposed to use it with me. I don't know why. I didn't look into it. I was just looking at how he recommended. We are the knights who say ghee. Aang said, I have a small non-stick that I use only for omelets pretty much. Non-stick is a crutch and in some ways a hindrance otherwise. And before ceramic cans, they also shed tiny bits of Teflon into your food for a while. So yeah, that's why we stop. We, we don't have any Teflon at this point. Uh, no, we do. Unfortunately, one of those is non-stick. It's the 10 inch or the 8 inch. Yeah. Or well, eight of the ten is non-stick. Oh, yeah. Well, then I'm throwing away. Need said, food prawn OP works up an appetite watching this. I think that's supposed to be corn. Oh, no. No, that's... Prawn? Prawn, yeah. It's an interchangeable deal. Oh, okay. I was wondering, are these inappropriate Back words? The poor innocent Julia doesn't know what Poor innocent Julia. Y'all get to hear her lie on screen. No, I'm sitting. Okay. So, and this, I also wish I had a camera that I could move around. Go that pro. way I could pro. show y'all what. I also need. Apparently, I need to rebalance this cooktop. So, yeah. yeah. Super uh, Kane said, besides, properly seasoned cast iron is non stick. Amen to that. I don't get to use the cast iron because Bob's obsessive about like how it gets washed. What's he used in it? But he doesn't wash it. Okay, so I forgot I never this last use time. It because One it's time. dirty. One time. Is that too loud? I'm sorry, guys. It's probably fucking ridiculously loud. I need to put in a uh, auto auto ducker or whatever. This is where we're going to start adding seasoning. You know what? Screw that little top. Need to say, ah, oh, fuck yeah, sniff screen. Sniff screen. It means I know I have to properly take care of cast iron, and I know how. But I'm just is very obsessive. I don't let anybody else do it. And we're going to put not a little a pleb. Uh, sesame chili hot oil. In there. Should have put that in a little earlier, but when you put it in with nothing else, it has a tendency to kind of start aerosolizing, and it, it basically you just don't want to get chilies or anything hot, or pepper hot, hot um, on its own. It kind of becomes a biological weapon at that point. I like the color that yellow bell peppers bring. I feel like we had one other thing that we thought of that we could put in here. See, that's a, that's another thing. About, like, we can't have soy, so soy sauce is right out. Um, which also takes out, uh, you know, hoisin sauce, um, oyster sauce. Yes, Ames, I do need my own frying pan, because then All right. I can This is up. complete, and this whole, I don't, I haven't said this, but this whole thing is ad-lib. 
inside carrot. Oh. We have carrots, but they're... Look, there's some carrots in here. Yeah. So I just added uh, fish sauce, which fish sauce is pretty much what it sounds like, unless what it sounds like to you is fish jizz. It's not fish jizz. Sauced fish. Yeah, it's drunk just drunk fish. fish. No. Uh, fish sauce, well, I encourage you to try it, even if you, uh, even if what it is doesn't sound particularly uh, appealing to you. So look, we're, we're getting some liquid that's staying, but see how it's pulling away? It's actually not too bad. Me and um, King said, so are we going for a wok mix? Pretty much, yeah. It's a uh, stir fry. Just kind of an throw it together. We had some veggies, some frozen veggies, and there was a good sale on beef, on chuck roast, and so we picked up the chuck roast and decided, decided, you know, let's go ahead and um, take those veggies that have been in the freezer for, you know, a couple of months and put them to good use. Ann said, it's damn potent. I have it in my fridge. And then BTW, you can add a quarter to a half a teaspoon of fish sauce to beef barley soup to up the umami this. umami this. I don't know why I have a hard time saying that. I did soup a few days ago. Need a little more fish sauce in that. Um, it is potent stuff. Fish sauce is. This, oh. So this brand, Red Boat, um, there was like an exhaustive fish sauce sampling and it was determined by, you know, some foodie magazine of some renown, of, I, I can't remember which one it was, that that fish sauce is the highest quality. Shit, I lost the camera. Goodness, okay. Uh, is the highest quality and tastiest fish sauce that you can get. So of course, when I watched this little <clears throat> little video on that, I was like, well, I gotta go get some of that. And it's amazing. He said, sounds pretty good. What's with all the tomatoes though? Tomatoes? <coughs> <coughs> That's a great question. So at PAX South, um, Trotter and Lex, and Lex Manos is the owner of Forge. So if you do anything with Minecraft, modded Minecraft, you've used his stuff. Um, they host uh, people at a ranch. So it's, it's just an Airbnb here in Texas, but they call it the Forge Ranch. They had, oh gosh, what, 30 pounds of ground beef left over, all the tomatoes that you saw, three pounds of um, bacon, and oh, so much stuff left over. And since everyone else was from out of state, every year we get to take home the leftovers. Um, <clears throat> so when we got all these tomatoes, it was like, well shit, what are we gonna do with the tomatoes? Um, this is starting to get where I want it. And so, Julia's initial plan was to do salsa. And I, I, I uh, kind of you vetoed took it me. over. You I vetoed you it. Like yeah. Crazy, and you're like, I'm making ketchup. It's because I was making ketchup. Kane said ginger and garlic would be lovely in that mix too. That's true. We don't have any ginger. Right we don't have any ginger. We have garlic. I could do some garlic. Redneck said nice feet, God, Kappa. Yeah, I take good care of my feet. If there should be one open. Stop. There should be one more pot of, or, uh, well, what? You know what I'm talking about. Two. Two? Wow. Okay. You know what? We're also going to throw some lime in there. Let's go ahead and move that off the heat. We're going to turn that off. That way I won't burn myself. And we are going to throw two cloves. Would you hit one, babe? Wait, okay, is the camera still in the same place that you want yeah, it? Or more is it or less. Far? I think it's good. I feel like we have... Okay. Anyways, so uh, Neen said, "Could try making your own ketchup. Supposedly, way tastier." Yeah, so that's yes, what, that's what we're gonna do. Exactly. Uh, Ain said, "Not so. even dried powdered ginger." 
And I don't ever keep powdered ginger on hand because of the fact that I always can buy it and just yeah, use fresh it. Ginger, yeah, fresh ginger. I just happen to be out right now. So, clove of garlic. I learned this from watching Good Eats from Alton Brown. You roll it in your hand like that, and then the skin just comes right off. It's crazy faster and cleaner than doing it, you know, the traditional lay it on the uh, cutting board. And the only thing is, uh, lay on the cutting board and, you know, smash it with the knife. The only thing is, the really, you can't see it, it's so far away. These really sharp edges. So right there, I don't know if you can see it. It won't focus. Damn it! It's focusing move down. on my hand. Move down. It's too close. There we go. Your hand in the way. Well, if I move my hand, oh, it focuses right. on the background. No. Okay. There you go. So I just had to get it closer. You said move down. Move yeah, down. Yeah. Well, your hand is in the way. Give it a second. Stop moving. Well, I'm trying to, to figure still. out where it. There. Yeah, you're gonna need to go down. There you go. Okay. Stop. Now go back up. Oh dear lord. Okay. Stop it. Here. Uh. You just elbowed yourself in the side. There. That's what I need Your to do. Your nails look awful. I know. It's because they're covered in paint from the... Oh, so seal. we're going to eat paint? So that really, sharp, that really sharp point there, it hurts when you roll it. So you want to just break them before you roll it. So, Amy keeps peeled ginger in the freezer, easier to grate when it's frozen, also lasts longer. That's really smart. Yeah. Mead said, next level garlic peeling meta techniques. Amy said, that's why they sell those rubber garlic peelers, otherwise that technique makes your hand smell like garlic, not like it's a bad thing. Oh, like okay. Garlic. Okay, okay. I was, okay. I was yeah. about to be like, um, what? what? Please leave. Just kidding. We always smell like garlic, just always. That's something I never don't have. Garlic, yeah, yeah. All I don't care if I'm like going to go on vacation for like an obscene amount of time, which I never do. But that'd be nice. There's always garlic in my house. Yeah. And he said, if I do a lot of garlic, then I put it in a jar or a bowl and shake it method. Ooh, that I like that. I have never heard of doing that. All different ways to peel garlic. And see, I, this is where I really want my third camera because my third camera would actually be. I mean, I have the camera. I just need the. Uh, I'll need a USB hub and uh, a couple of extenders for USB extenders. Uh, anyway, my third camera would be somewhere right in here. And it would give you a good shot of the table. And so you'd be able to, you know, have a much better view of what's happening here. And then you have a camera set up in an armchair. So you can throw yourself across it seductively and then talk about the food that we're making. What was her name? Giada. Giada. We could probably head. want to do some lines in this as well. Okay. This inadvertently took kind of a... Uh, Hi. Bro. Redneck said, Predator is invincible. I called a mor mortar strike? Mortar, mortar strike? strike? On him, and he was like, there are mosquitoes around. Mead said, Kitchen looks really nice. Thank you. I worked my ass off making this happen today. It's literally, you have no ass. Well, that's just a given. So, how would you see this? Wow. Wow. Yeah. These little lines are so annoying. Because they wanna like the What is that? What are those things called? Pulp. No. Fiction. The cells. I don't know what you Oh no. Mitochondria is the powerhouse oh of the cell. I knew better than to say the cells. The little parts that hold the liquid they have a tendency to just pop out like this instead of break. Mead said, squeeze that lime if you're about to, like, as if you're about to make the best drink ever, Kappa. Ooh, that's another thing we can't have. 
any alcohol. Or any inebriating substance, so no pot either. Which is a bummer. Well, all I guess around. I should put all my hair went away. Yeah, exactly. Gotta put that hair one away, babe. I don't know what's wrong with you. Okay. I would ask you to get us some plates, but they're in there. There's oh, wait, we've got those, those disposables. Right yeah, let's do that. Let's go ahead and get some plates. Ains, I agree with you. Thoughts currently a pleb. We win. Hmm? Ains said, I find rolling a lemon or lime on the counter helps with juicing it. Oh, I did. You did? Yeah. Oh, okay. I just need to go and call you a pleb. Yeah, I know. I'm not Sorry to take me. that from you. Mead said, no, oh. no alcohol? I thought you were a Viking. I cry, I cry so badly sitting in the corner shivering in fetus position. Fetus position? Fetus position. <laughs> All the way back to fetus. <laughs> You're done. Come on, back up in your mama's womb. Right, Amy so now, said, I can't remember where I saw the shaped garlic and bowl technique. Now I have to find it. I've huh. never heard of this. It would definitely work, though, because you'd be doing basically the same thing as rolling it, just, you know, percussive forces. What it would be. I literally just cleaned my stove, so don't no, judge me died. for putting that back in. Also, to be fair, though, even if it had been a couple of days, I still would have put it back in. All right, babe. See, this is the thing that's... Soy sauce. This is the thing that's killing me oh, with this diet, sauce. is the lack of sauces. Yep. Like, I'm fine with not having rice with this. Like, I don't really like, like, I appreciate rice. Yeah. But I'm not like, yeah, rice. Right, yeah. Right, so let that sit for a second. But soy sauce, though? And get that other lime out. You can top it. I have a suspicion we're going to want some more lime in it. Um, but if I put it in right now, it's going to cook it off. Yeah. Um, so I want a little bit in there. And put then, a crap ton of lime in that chicken that I made the other day yeah. and let it sit for a second. Ooh, and these it's so don't good. have any cilantro. No, there's cilantro in the fridge. There is? Yeah. We can throw some on top. Okay. There's a very tiny amount. Huh. Very tiny amount better than nothing. That's what she said. Yep. Yeah. Also, what he said. Me said that mix looks so good. Stir it, stir it good. Get the battle axe. I know you have one, Kappa. Right. One of these days, I'm gonna have to like get a piglet and bone it. I feel like I'd get banned Don't, for that. The, what the fuck did you just excuse you? Okay. The technical, the actual term. Deboning. The actual term for taking bones out of any animal is boning it. Look it up. That is the actual term. You're going to find a lot of shit that's like, oh, it's deboning. That's not the actual term. According if you go to, to you, you no, cul no. You go to culinary school, and they're not going to have you debone a chicken. They're going to have you bone a chicken. I know it sounds... Like, those are just hazing techniques. Those are just... It's just hazing? Yeah. It was actually something that, uh... So when I went and toured Le Cordon Bleu, um, the group I was with, there was one kid. That kid. You know that kid. It was like, so, did you know yada yada yada? And like half the time he was wrong, and that time he was right. And the uh, like the instructor that was showing us around was like, "That's actually correct. Boning is the the technical term." All right, let me give this a quick taste. Um, red said, redneck said, "Vod's boning piglets." I mean, I know weird things happen in Texas, but wow. <laughs> and um. Can you post links in here? If someone's here to give you permission to post a link, yes. But I don't, I don't know how to do that on mobile. Any, you do. I don't think I have any exclamation right permit and then their name. Okay. Hold on, Amy. I've got your booth. 
Oh, I love the smell of fish sauce. So, if you're put off by what stuff is made from, how it's made, then you're never going to try fish sauce because that's the type of person that doesn't try fish sauce. Someone who's put off by how things are made. Fish sauce is made by quite literally taking fish or squid, you know, some sea life, and then putting it into a clay pot with water, salt, and I think that's it, if I'm not mistaken, and you let it ferment for, I think it's anywhere from three months to a year or two, depending on the quality of the fish sauce. And then they take this, you know, basically fermented fish soup and mm -hmm. strain it so that there's nothing in it but the liquid. And a few eyeballs. And uh, that's fish sauce. Uh, Mead said, makes the sex boning sound dangerous. <laughs> I'm a boner good. Why are you going to get your spine out with your dick or something? Oh my gosh. Kappa and lobe. Oh my gosh, yeah. Ains dropped a link for how to kill garlic in a jar. Alright, this is good. Ains' so, dog loves fish sauce. Ooh, I bet, I bet Fury would go ape shit over fish sauce. dog biscuits and put a drop in each. Alright, so I'm going to move these two. Are they moving over there? Yep. You good in that shirt, babe? Am I? I think you are. Okay. I'm always good. Well, I see the thing is I'm here. Okay. 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 You were a kid. I know you were a kid. I was a kid. Too. We were all kids once. We were kids. We were kids. Would you hit one on there, please? Yeah. Hit it. There, there we go. Um, redneck said. I had him one more shot and I would have slayed Predator, but no one other saw it in the face. Mm -hmm. Sounds like, what's your, uh, one of your favorite movies? Mm -hmm. Dale and Tucker vs. Evil. Oh, Bill and Tucker vs. Evil, wasn't it? Maybe it is Dale and Tucker. Dale and Tucker. Right up here for now. I'll be right back. Yeah. Oh, it's a little bit of a Okay, so we're gonna... Switch the category real quick to social eating. No, category would be good though. So I'm not gonna be able to see chat for a hot second. Of course, it has to reload my dashboard. There we go. Come on. Dude, why is this just... Oh, and it ain't reloaded after it reloaded. GG. GG. Well, that was weird looking. It looks like someone else is giving a thumbs up. Off camera. That is totally me, though. Oh. That wasn't my thumb. Mother okay, hold on. I gotta, I gotta go full screen with this mess. What? Oh, just my dashboard, huh? Babe, did you give yourself permission to stream on my channel? No. No? Okay. It was on the permissions page. Didn't do that. Remember how I ended up on that page? You didn't catch up with the chat. Ian said, the first time I gave my dog a treat with a drop of fish sauce in it, I saw him torn between eating in it and rolling in it. Mead said, we get to eat with them? Kappa. Okay, it sounded way creepier than I thought it would, even as a joke. Right. That was like some serious, like... You made it even creepier though, by the... Like, I, I, it sounded even creepier than I thought it I read it in my, uh, whatchamacallit voice. Uh, Only. Doki Doki. Only. What's her name? Why did I just leave it? Monica? Just oh, Monica. Monica. Just Monica. If you had said just, you would have Yeah, I in my brain. Yeah, I'm sorry. God, she flipping you, I tell. Who's flipping you? Oh, this is... I have got to figure out what's causing this to just lag like a motherfucker. She said, said, working on some onion rings and dumplings. Those two foods do not belong in the same meal. They do in America. Murder. Okay. Oh, 
my gosh. I wish that I still had access to my back to my dashboard on my phone because this would be so much easier. Did they remove this that is, or what? Yes, they removed it. There we go. Uh, study. You should go talk to one of the random Twitch employees, you know, that doesn't deal with the, right. the mobile app and yell at them about that. Right, fuck it, we're gonna stay in creative. If someone yells at us, then they yell at us. Can we eat creatively? Eat creative? I'm sure we could. I don't think we want to eat creatively, though. Excuse me, man. Soft spaces, there we go. Mmm. You know what? I'm gonna do it this way. Oh, hey, Gary. Right here. Come here. Come on. There you go. Good girl. Alright, now you gotta back up. Now you gotta back up, and she's like, but you're fed me. Mead said, I, I am the regret. stealthy viking. Capo. I'm bound to say stuff to regret hey, eventually. Aiden's wants pot stickers now. Oh, fuck, I want pot stickers. We can't have Gosh, pot stickers right now. Mead viking wants food and soda now. You know what I want? We could, we could totally make pot stickers, babe. If we got beef, mm-hmm. and uh, I cut it really thin. Okay. And we use that as the wrapper for the pot stickers. Do you need a sushi knife? One of those knives that splits the, uh... Adams. Adams. There we go. My brain is... I'm ready for bed. Ooh, sorry. Ain said, this is just a bit between cooking stir fry and making ketchup. I don't think anyone will care. Right. This is the middle. Hey. Would you grab me a, uh, whatchamacallit? Which Please one? The lid. What I'm drinking and the lights not there. Yeah, we're gonna put it straight into the deal after this. The cover. The one you're drinking? Yeah, the. Okay. Uh, okay. There you go. Okay. Uh, there you go. Okay. My agent? Oh. Okay. This actually works pretty well. Cool. This is weird music in the background. Like, turn Wow, take it to a, a porny place. Yeah, before it's, I it's add just that, let's see. Anyways, we're not going to go there. I'm sorry. What is this? I'm going to do some food. <laughs> this is my wife, Julia. Huh? Enjoy your food. This is the worst. No, it's not. Okay, what we're saying, what is this? That is a piece of broccoli. Piece of broccoli is soft though. Forget it's a meal. Forget what the... Forget what's a meal. Okay, I definitely do that. Mm-hmm. What? I'm the Abed to your toy. Yeah, yeah, you are my Abed. Except I don't think they bone, so I hope they didn't. I was just I mean, thinking no, of no, no judgment there. I was just thinking of toy and Abed in the morning. Is there a fake morning show? Mm-hmm. This is kind of what I feel like because there's like no one here, and we're like, ow, oh, that hurt me. I'm fine. Santa, oh dude, take it from the host, man. Mm. I don't want pot stickers. There's no too much pot stickers. We haven't started yet. I'm not a stuff to make it with. I'm always hurting myself. It's true. I'll spend some time with her. I've actually never made pot stickers. Uh, made egg rolls, made spring rolls, made... Fresh rolls. Uh, yeah, fresh rolls. Well, most people refer to that as spring rolls. Mm. Mm-hmm. But isn't there some cuisine where fresh rolls or spring rolls are fried? Thai. Thai? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. 
How are you doing, Tanto? Taking you back to Pax, seeing us eating? It's so clean, you did such a good job. I'm so proud of them. Everything. Everything. I even um, scrubbed the crap out of our uh, countertop, or was this island? Which is also a cutting block and uh, uh, oil. A little bit. She said, I read that like you had 320 friends over, and I was like, I don't even have 320 friends on you Facebook. Love. Good beer, good time, nice. Sounds, sounds really good. Oh god, I sound like Tony right now. Mm. I'd like mm. to eat my way through winter with dumplings. Mm-hmm. That sounds amazing. I'm definitely... So once we're done with the whole 30, the 30 day period where we don't have anything we can eat. After we're done with that 30 day period, well, we get to reintroduce stuff. And the cool thing is, there's nothing that you have to just cut out completely. Basically the diet's like, hey, you're a fucking adult, make some decisions. And by the way, a custom this channel, if you're new here, no. Uh, so, we can just have whatever when we go back, you know, when we're done with 30 days. Uh, and we the just got, yeah, and the reintroduction. Yeah. And that's what I was going to say, we just mm -hmm. have to do the reintroduction and figure out what, how, what affects us and how, and then you get to make decisions. So if I found out that, you know, the combinations of a, combination of a fantastic pork dumpling fucks me up for two days, I can make that decision. Yeah. I'm super curious about the uh, reintroduction period. Pierogies. <laughs> we could actually Speaking do pierogies. No, we can't do pierogies. If we could do it's eggs, flour. Hmm. It's not. It's potato. Pierogies or potato. It probably has some flour in it, but we might be able to manage to do it without the flour. If we can, you're spending like three days just making crookies, and I'm just eating crookies for the rest of the 30 days. Mm -hmm. Trust me, Danko, we're not this like, go get them with food normally. It's part of the reason why we're doing whole 30 is because we're super. Yeah. Like, there's a really good burger at Water Burger right now. Let's have it for the fifth night in a row. Like I love to cook. I love food. What? One of my favorite people in the world just came in chat. Hey! Hey boo. <laughs> I mean there's other people in chat right now that I love. Crank off. But I love crank off. Dude, long time no see. How have you I would been, totally man? I'd feed you if you were here. I'd feed them like, you know, laying all sensory mm -hmm. and feed them grapes. Is already here. You count. You count. That sounds good. Mm -hmm. I hadn't thought about looking at gluten free. Well, it's well, probably going to go tapioca flour, rice flour. Yeah, it depends on what happens if it's well. Okay, so here's the problem: the gluten free flour that's safe right now is coconut flour. Mm -hmm. I have a coconut allergy. So the like big things that are trending in Whole30 recipes are coconut, and it's derivatives, you know, from coconut oil all the way to coconut flour, and then the other thing that's trending is eggs. They're quick to cook, cheap, and super versatile. I happen to be allergic to eggs. <clears throat> if I have, you know, more than about two or three eggs, probably three eggs, if I'm just having eggs, yeah, just one. No, if you have, this is the problem is, is when you're having eggs in things, you're not having more than one egg. That's true. 
If okay. he has more than one egg. I get really congested for like two hours, three hours. <laughs> that sounds amazing. I haven't been able. Oh, bacon is what I need to add to my grocery list. Well, bacon has sugar in it, mm. most of it, so I haven't been able to find bacon. Where did you get that on yeah. Monday? At uh, yeah. the butcher? Bacon? Yeah. They probably have sugar in it. Probably. You busy with work? Yeah, I know how it is. Yeah, that makes sense, man. <laughs> right? Means we're challenging ourselves a little too much. Um, yeah, coconut's trendy, but they keep coming out with more stuff, and we're like, wait, guys, it's not as great. Like, maybe you shouldn't be freaking, like, lately, like, like, lathering your body well, with it. It seems like we get a new trendy super food every other year. Cauliflower. Every year. Cauliflower, yeah. This is the new one. Or I think it was technically last um, year's new one. She said, absolutely, if we can't find bacon that's mm -hmm. sugar free, we're gonna get some pork belly, I'm gonna smoke it, because we own a barbecue restaurant. So I'm gonna, you know, throw some salt on it and smoke it. And then we can fry that up and be damn good. Part of our problem is the lack of time. Yeah. Crank, did you? Oh, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. I was gonna ask, Crank, did you start your new position yet? If so, how's it going? Is it doggy? <laughs> His new position is mm -hmm. a doggy. Mm -hmm. oh. No, she not sweet. We can't have anything sweet. Oh yeah, no sugar or sugar stuff. Like I, I, we can't have agave. We can't have um, stevia, have honey. stevia, honey. You name it. If it makes something sweet and it doesn't, and it's not like actively Eating in the fruit, apple or something. Yeah, yeah. we can't have it. Um, I've actually been, I almost cut up some apples and threw it in this to get a little sweetness. Mm -hmm. I think it's sweet enough. There's enough from the uh, bell pepper. From the, yeah, the yellow bell pepper. Yeah. Avocado everywhere. It's not avocado season right now, so they're disgusting. So I literally bought mm -hmm. a box of these like pre-portioned guacamole cuts, which I don't, don't normally do because they're kind of expensive, but I needed some avocado in my life. It's also super hip. Also, okay. True. Julia Rand. Julia Rand. Particular, sorry. Particularly if you can find um, like locally grown carrots, you know, organic or heirloom, it's way better, way sweeter. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. Anyways, if you do a little research, you can find out that we are killing the um, ecology in Mexico. Ecology is not the right word, but you know what I mean. Anyways, because of our obsession with avocados, like they're literally tearing down forests to plant avocado trees to deal with the American obsession. Really, in like Baja and that strip in particular. Yeah. Uh, and we are destroying their, what's our looking ecosystem, thank you, by our obsession with avocados and the fact that we want them whenever they're like, no matter when. And it's very easy for them to grow when it's like out of season in Mexico. And we're really hurting them. But I mean, we are giving them jobs. Giving anybody a job is a good thing. No. But is it worth it? Hey, that's a really good idea. Caramelize them. We just have to give Sketch and Pink a little extra time now. Unless they want to do a baby moon. We need to convince them to go on a cruise baby moon with us. This is a baby moon. A baby moon is when you go on like a honeymoon, but it's like a honeymoon from the last time that you're going to be without a baby. Because oh, okay. you're going to have kids for the rest of your life after that. Okay. It's done. Yeah. So you have a baby moon. And so you do it when you're pregnant, when you're like still comfortable enough to be able to like move around and do stuff, but you're getting closer to like bursting. You going to eat that? This? Yeah, and those you're picking around. I'm just being distracted. Okay. Mm -hmm. Beets too. I've never had roasted beets actually. She hates beets though. I don't hate beets. I'm oh, just not. Hate beets. Okay. I think they taste like hers. I feel like bears and battles by Galactica though. I've never seen beets, bears, and battles by Galactica. I don't know what you're referencing.
That's really cool, he said. That's like my dream. Also, Hawaii and like other countries and stuff, when they still have like other, they're not like the Haas avocados or the smaller ones that aren't Haas avocados, but they're the same family. We went to Haiti and had avocados in Haiti that were grown there. They, they don't were look like normal. Legit. They don't look like normal avocados, and the pit was really small, right? I don't remember. I don't remember the pit. Yeah, the pit was different. tiny. Actually. Yeah, yeah. It was like eighty freaking. And it was it was green and smooth, and it doesn't look like an avocado from the outside. That's the best damn avocado I've ever had before in my life. It just re- I looked over here and realized that our camera uh, was set a little wonky. Mm-hmm. No, Ings, I had beets last week. What? We had beets at that restaurant the other day. They were in my, like, I had this cool bowl thing. I it looks so, you, can you see the screen? Yeah. Watch how I do this. <laughs> On the edge of the screen. Yeah. It doesn't look like my hand. It no, looks it like someone off screen's, so like, Anyways, throwing a thumbs up. So, no, it has nothing to do with the child and Thanksgiving, though. I, I think. That's like the canned beets and disgusting. Ooh, right. But I tried them and I could eat them a little bit, but I think they taste like dirt. But it might be one of those like sweet potato situations where if I can have it like enough times, I'll get over it and get used to it. So far, it's Oh, yeah, tell them about sweet potatoes. So, anyway, so there was a study done on sweet potatoes. I'm an obsession with like weird college studies and stuff like that. It's it's bullshit college me. ones. Yeah, no. Like, my, I have a news app on my phone and I have it like specifically set to like. Heavily show me like weird studies that happen. Um, Sorry. But anyways, I'm being a fat kid. Yeah, I might have more too. I keep talking, that's my problem. Um, yeah, yeah, so, anyways, nice. oh. there's a study done um, that said that most, like pretty much everybody, not everybody, but like the majority of people when they have sweet potatoes for the first time don't like sweet potatoes. But if you can get yourself through having sweet potatoes like 30 times or something, don't mean like eating like whole sweet potato, but like trying sweet potatoes like 30 times. You'll develop a love for sweet potatoes. This one I actually know about because a friend that I worked with had an obsession with sweet potatoes. Hey, you and I didn't like them. And so he would make himself sweet potatoes for lunch. And every time he brought them, he'd make me try his sweet potatoes. And I like sweet potatoes now. We can't have sweet potatoes because I am looking forward to having some good sweet potato dishes. Oh. We're not allowed to do any of those weird paleo dessert <coughs> things where it's like healthy foods that you try to make like dessert. Because we're trying to break our bad mindsets of like yeah, the diet food is a reward yeah. and our obsession with like, in particular like American, our, our American obsession with eating dessert after a meal and like things like that. Uh, you so eat it before. The idea is like breaking that thing it's, it's, and that's a lot of sweet stuff at one time. So we can't do any of those weird like banana pancakes or like coconut pancakes or things like that. Nope. It was worth the try. Oh yeah, that was good. Well, it's cilantro lime mm-hmm. mayo. And so I was thinking, oh, maybe. Maybe. But no. You can put cilantro on this. Honestly, too much work at this point. Mm-hmm. I'm about to make ketchup. No. I'm about to after this. I should choose it. I'm gonna make ketchup. Mm-hmm. Because a lot of these tomatoes are turning. And although somewhat damaged tomatoes are fine for making ketchup and you know, like tomato soup, you don't want them really fucked up. So, in the majority of America, I would say yes. Like a bowl of ice cream after dinner is super cool. Yeah. Nothing like fancy, like beautiful French desserts. And it also just has to do with like a, like with our like mental the way we feel about food. Not everybody has a bad. Yeah, not everyone has a bad relationship with food. Like you have a good relationship. I have a, good relationship with food. I have a bad relationship with food. Mm-hmm. I eat differently depending on like how my emotions are. 
and I treat myself to things or deprive myself of things. Like, it's, I'm probably borderline of food disorder, like the way mm-hmm. I eat, unfortunately. Um, but it's super typical. And so one of the ideas is going back to, like, eating real meals and eating, like, particularly, like, at a table, things like that help not snacking throughout the day. Dude, right? I will almost always take fruit over a dessert, you know, like a pie or something like that. I actually, I'm not big on sweet stuff. The, my, my kryptonite when it comes to sweet, the sugar is soda. Drinking my sweet, my sugar, it's the absolute worst way you can consume it. That's my kryptonite. <clears throat> I love fruit salad. Oh damn, fruit bowl? Yes. Right? You gonna have more? Are you done? I'm good. I'm trying to figure that out right okay. now. Oh my gosh, so cookies. Mm-hmm. So I went to this party the other night. Oh. And I didn't get to eat anything. It was really sad because all the food that they had, like I couldn't have. And this girl made this chocolate pecan pie. And it looked real good. And I don't even like pecan pie. Oh, so good. And anyway, she was telling me that earlier that week, she had made this Martha Stewart cookie cake, which is where you make these, like, giant cookies, like, and they're really thin, and you bake them until they're, like, crispy to the point where they're, like, snap in half. And then you do have, you make heavy whipping cream, and then you put, two the chocolate chip cookies, and then it's heavy whipping cream, and another chocolate chip cookie, and heavy whipping cream. And, like, this... Whipped cream. Well, like, whipped. Whatever... Like, like, I was imagining <laughs> pouring heavy whipping cream Maybe. on it, and I'm like, well, I don't understand. Maybe it is heavy whipping cream, though. Because, hold on, here's the thing. You stick it in the fridge, and then it solidifies and gets a cakey texture. I think it is it heavy whipping yeah. cream. I think I was 100% right. Yeah, it might be heavy whipping cream. Anyways, I really... are not getting food. Can y'all see that? Hey, Swifty. What's up, dude? Yeah, we've got the, um... Can y'all hear us okay? We've got the noise canceling. Uh, it's pretty aggressive. It's actually the plugins that you that you had me watch that video on. But the reason we have it pretty aggressive is our dog's nails on the hard floor, the clickety-clack. Sweet baby Jesus. It was horrible. Like... She could literally be all the way across the house and you would hear it through the mic. I do, Aim. We have a difficult relationship when it comes to our dog. You see the look she's giving me. I'm very authoritarian with her. Because that's the way I've always trained and kept dogs. He really likes to be very caring, very nurturing with her. So it makes her an interesting, interesting give and take. Interesting. It wasn't sounding like that earlier. But we also are over here now. That's true, we are. This isn't where we were earlier. Pretty distant from where we were. I gotta get up. <laughs> but yeah, it's not adaptive noise cancellation like it, like it is with the uh, audition. Pull up this recipe. Because it's 1.44 a.m. And I'm working all day tomorrow yeah, in the restaurant. So I want to check out this recipe and see how long it is. 
Because I want to say it's like a 30 minute per batch deal. Okay. Let's see here. That's all the ingredients. Come on, come on, come on. Keep going. There we go. This is... Oh yeah, no, we can't do this tonight. It's an hour between cook and prep. I just can't, I can't do an hour between cook and prep. Not, not feasible. It's not feasible at all, which is unfortunate. So hopefully we don't have any of these tomatoes go too bad to use. Uh, yeah, let me. Let me switch back to chat, and then there's all the constant noises, fan air conditioning. Yeah, exactly. I can't even like dump it down. No, you can't. No, I can't. I just did it. You weren't. Twice you were, they earlier. can still see you though. You see? I'm too old. You know, Ooh. you actually got your head. In. I was trying to see it. Okay, so. About the ooh. never did it pretty late. Yes, that's our life right now. So you see the way this is damaged right there, bruised. Um, that is about as damaged as I'm okay with a tomato being when I'm doing ketchup or uh, the other thing that we talked about. Tomato soup. Mm -hmm. So you know what I might do? Let me just double check. I'm relatively, like 90% sure that the very first step in this is to cut up the tomatoes. So I think what I'll do, provided that is the first step, which I feel like it is. Yes, please completely reload that web page. That makes perfect sense. Anyway, if that is in fact the first step, then I plan to cut them all up, put them in a Ziploc or if one of our bigger glass bowls is clean, then one of those and call it a night. Put them freeze them so they don't get worse until you're ready to use them. I always forget about freezing. Um, we're gonna make ketchup because ketchup is. I love ketchup. <laughs> Good. I like. I like homemade ketchup. The stuff you get from the stores, man. Yeah. Okay. So I can just cut them up. We'll uh. We'll do that. Lost the texture on that one. Pickled tomato. I've never heard of that. I feel like that would be fantastic. I'm gonna put this up real quick. You know what? The dish I was using to uh, separate this out while I was cooking it will be perfect. Absolutely perfect for this and that. <clears throat> this is one thing that we're, that I'm learning to love again. Cause we, when we first got married, we were actually really good. I had plenty of time, um, and so I just, I cooked because I enjoyed it. Um, not so much because we didn't have the money to, you know, eat out and stuff like that. You don't worry about keeping tomato texture when keeping salsa? Oh, you only worry about it. Uh... Yeah, that's about it that I can think of too. Where it's really a concern. Where's the lid for this? Anyway, when we first got married, had a real good. You know what? Let me turn down that noise filter.
All right, well, that's lessened it a good bit. So I got used to having leftovers at that point. <clears throat> but as we've grown more busy and taken less time to, you know, take care of ourselves, to cook, uh, I've forgotten how, how nice it is. Just, it's genuinely nice to open your fridge and you've got leftovers from the past, like, two or three meals that you can, you know, make a meal of. I also have some shrimp I need to cook tomorrow. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with those. I'm just in there for... You see? That right there. What I just did, the way I opened that fridge and stood there, I put the thing in that I wanted and then stood there. And the reason that I was doing that was because my my bad food habit with <clears throat> my bad food habit with drinking soda just came out like my brain was like hey um you want a soda cuz i want a soda so yeah uh it's a good improvement Texture is more important if you make gazpacho too. <laughs> Who makes that in winter? Fair question. Also, if you're gonna really get into cooking, which I encourage everyone to, do yourself a favor, spend no less. Like, you can spend more, but spend no less than $80 on a kitchen, an 8 inch chef knife. It's just phenomenal. Bum, ba, ba, da, da. Phenomenal. Bum, ba, da, bum. Bam. Gallon Ziploc bag. That's going to be it. Shrimp scampi would be my usual recommendation. You can eat that currently. Um, gosh, it's been probably a couple of years since I've seen the ingredient list for shrimp scampi. I might be able to eat it, but I'm not sure. Um, she took off with the little towel. Damn it. Let me get another towel. It's another thing we've done. Um, it's nothing like, oh my gosh, you're so smart. But we've started using um, towels instead of paper towels. I mean, we, we did that a while back. But still, it makes such a big difference in our finances. When I realized that I could buy a pack of six genuine, like, cloth towels for the same price as, you know, a big thing of paper towels my gosh it just like at that point I felt like an idiot for having bought just bushels and bushels of paper towels in my life uh, I like pop too Bob Never keep it in the fridge. I have a chef knife, it's cheap, but I keep it sharp and regularly. It works like a charm. It is as if not. Oh no, absolutely. Proper sharpening is definitely more important than the quality of the knife. I 100% agree with that. <clears throat> She's accident prone, doesn't pay attention to the knives when she uses them. She's used to dull ones. See, that is so dangerous, honestly. Every time someone, like, I'll hear people actually say, you know, you need to keep, you keep, sharp knives are dangerous, and I'm, like, honestly, dull knives are dangerous. They create a uh, sense of complacency, and when you hurt yourself with a dull knife, it's usually worse, and heals worse, slower. Drizzling shots. <coughs> yeah. Ah, 
Ah, the wine. That's right. Can't have any alcohol. Even cooking with it. I could drop it. What the fuck are you doing live? It's like midnight. It's uh, actually like 2 a.m. Um, or 2 if you're just going on 24 hour time. But yeah. Parents are similar. Keep telling her, but she doesn't care. It's true. Like, people. It, it's. It's. I mean, I'm not saying that she has this mentality, but that, to me, it kind of falls into the same vein as guns are dangerous. Like, it's not the gun that's dangerous, it's the person behind the gun. Make you actually push through the medium instead of having the knife cut. Yep. Yep. Cuts in towards the palm of her hand all the time. Like she'll, like the avocado deal where she'll hold it like this and do like that. That deal. That's super fucking dangerous. I do it with avocados, but I've got a lot of experience doing it with avocados. And I have a sharp knife. So I just basically rest my knife and it cuts through. The dull knives, you're more likely to cut the shit out of yourself doing shit like that. A scar on my hand from my parents' dull knives. Yep. Slip that dull knife is sharp enough to mess you up good. Exactly. She has a culinary license? What? Was it all like theoretical? Was there no actual? Because I mean, every culinary school. So for a little while, I actually looked at going to culinary school. Um, out of high school, I'm like, what the, what the hell do I want to do with my life? And I was like, you know what? I'm good at cooking. I enjoy it. Maybe I should do that. Um, and so I looked at culinary schools, and knife work was like one of the core classes, one of the first ones. Yeah, you got it, Summer Viking. I popped over to your profile when you said that you had followed, and I was like, oh, she takes stuff that I'd like to see. Uh, that's a thing with serrated knives. They can't be sharpened or not easily, and they keep cutting after they get dull because you're using them as a saw. Yep. Every time I see serrated knives in someone's kitchen, kitchen, it tells me a lot about them. Like, I don't know that I want them cooking for me. That's what I want to know. You know, I've actually taught, speaking of proper knife technique, I have taught um, Julia, my wife, and her two sisters proper knife technique. I think it's a life skill. Like, it's something that, even if you never plan on having to cook for yourself, if you're like, you know what, I'm going to be a fucking lawyer. And so I'm going to have the money necessary to not have to cook for myself. You should still know how to use a knife properly. Let's see. Don't know, cutting toward the palm's fine with a sharp knife and good control, turning it hard. Yeah. Yeah, like that sort of stuff is okay. But those are, like, that's all techniques that are commonplace for, you know, something in particular. Slice up the tomato so smoothly it's satisfying to watch. Well, I'm glad I can... Oh. Um. Thank you. The phrasing on that was... Was about to get pretty bad. Let's see. Let me see if I can actually get a tighter shot. Since I'm just cutting up the tomatoes tonight, I'm going to get a tighter shot on it and... Zoom it in a little bit. I think that'll be good. Let's see. Yeah. What do y'all think? Is is the tighter shot on the knife better, or should I zoom it out a little bit and get my face back in it? But if I know, but I've seen it, so it exists. Side of the uh, 
a place and a specific place to me that you use it for. Only thing I can think of to use a serrated knife for is cutting bread. Honestly, even then, if you have a really fucking sharp knife, like just sharpened by someone who knows what they're doing, you can cut through a, a loaf of bread like it was butter. To be fair, Bob, my uh, cutlery was a gift I didn't pick out for ourselves, so the steak knives are serrated. Ooh. Get up getting a better set of steak knives eventually, yeah. Yeah, my bread knife is serrated. Let's see, there is one. Okay. Let me switch to this camera real quick. So this, this is the one situation where, let's see if I can get some light on it. There we go. It's the one situation where I'm leery of a tomato. When you get that, you know, when it sinks in and it's got a discoloration right there, looks like potentially mold. Um, that's the only time I'm really like leery about using a tomato. But what you do is you just cut you know, you, you do some exploratory cuts and figure out whether you're comfortable eating it. Um, general rule of thumb is, is if it's a soft vegetable or um, soft vegetable or fruit, anytime you have, you know, damage on the outside like that and it looks like rot or, um, rot or mold, you just don't eat it. Uh, Personally, I've got much looser uh, rules. If it tastes off, you don't eat it. If it looks like what you're looking at has spread, I don't eat it. Uh, but that's that's me personally. I've got a bit of a cast iron stomach, and I've also ate like that my entire life, so I've gotten used to it. Let's see. We have a bread maker, so that's basically why we have them. Okay. Big way on bread and cutting really fresh bread is a pain otherwise. <clears throat> Baking at least. Ah, nice. Cut out the bad hunk at least. Oh, yeah. You love the floor of my house? Wait, can you... You can see the floor? Really? Oh, you can see it on uh, screen too. Yeah. On the stove. Thank you. Um, and Swammer, how you doing, man? Welcome to the broadcast. If you're allergic to mold, oh, absolutely. If you're allergic to mold, then... Well, but I feel like if you're having to tell people that, they're not that allergic to whatever it is. When I was at the stove, yeah. Um... So I'm gonna cut it that way. This is the one with the with the damage in it. Um, here I'll take it to the stove cam. All right, so there's the the damaged spot, and you can see we're not very far away. F whoops. We're not very far away from where it was, and there's nothing in the inside that looks off. So let me. Uh, so I just. There's your damaged part, and I, you know, cut a piece off like that, and boom, there you go. There's uh, nothing wrong with that. So it's just a little cosmetic piece that does look like mold, but like I said, I, I'm I play fast and loose with that stuff. Neither Julia nor I have a, you know, mold allergy to speak of. I mean. You know, obviously some household mold will get you congested, but it's not going to fuck me up. Um, but Swammer, the floor in our house is actually just plain plywood that used to, in here, it used to have uh, tiles. You know, those crappy um, formica or whatever, crappy, crappy plastic tiles glued to the floor. And they were coming up and looked skanky and nasty and so we decided we were gonna pull them up and do something with the floor and when we pulled them up it looked fucking awesome and so we just kept it that way. <clears throat> we did that and used the rest, yeah. The difference is to 
do narrower or deeper cuts before because mold has tiny invisible roots. Yeah, yeah. But like I said, hey, this is that's how I've been doing stuff my whole life. Um, so honestly, unless I, if I was in a foreign country, I would be a little more leery. I probably would have done you know a much larger cut out of it. Um, but these are tomatoes from Mexico. And I've been eating tomatoes from Mexico my whole friggin' life. We're all sub for? Yeah, exactly. I mean, honestly, we, we keep contemplating, because the rest of our house doesn't have the same look to it, uh, just because it didn't have the tiles. Um, so we, we contemplate, you know, throwing something down, and then every time we do, we look at the price, and it's just, it's prohibitively expensive to put anything but carpet or big sheets of laminate down. Um, we don't really want the sheets of laminate. It's no more attractive than the subfloor. <clears throat> and um, yeah, it's no more attractive than the subfloor, the laminate. So every time we come to that, like we should do that, and we're like, no, no, we shouldn't. Here, come here. You want a little something? All right. Let's get you a little something. Stay. Stay. We'll get you an apple wedge. I'll give you the green one because I don't like it. All right. Let's see if you'll be good. Whoop. That didn't seal. That instead broke. Alright. Let's see, can you see here? Here. Let me move the trash can. Alright, come here. Sit. Hey. Come here. Sit. Good girl. Alright, stay. Stay. Nope, not your head. Your snap. Stay. Stay. Get it. Good girl. That was a hot button issue earlier when I was talking talking about our different like animal rearing styles. In hindsight, ooh, that's really loud. In hindsight, I probably shouldn't have talked about it. I'm gonna mute this while I wash my hands. There we go. Let me catch up on chat. Oh, goodness, what's up, dude? How are you? Uh, in pennies. That's amazing. Well, I mean, a Annie, when, when you're looking at linoleum versus not spending money, and you like the way that the subfloor looks more than a linoleum, then you should always hug Vikings. It's true. You should always hug Vikings. Floor treats. Sit, sit. Didn't get a treat. Guys, if y'all don't know Gooderness, you definitely ought to get to know him. Go check out his stream. Usually, okay, so y'all can't see it right now, but right there where this camera is, that's where our. Uh, hey, no, 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 go back. Go back. Go back. Go on. Good girl. Stay. Um. Oh. That hook that I have that camera hooked on is actually our uh, tout hook. So I was just looking for that. So how are you? Been lurking before bed? Nice, man. I should be in bed, but such is our life right now. Time is at a premium. 
and sometimes you sacrifice sleep for productivity. I try and do that as little as I can though, because my sleep's important. At least I try and make myself believe that my sleep's important. By the way, guys, um, I did wash all of these tomatoes before the broadcast. I just felt like tomato washing, you know, staring at my back while I'm washing like two dozen tomatoes is probably not quality entertainment. Going out on a limb. 210 for you also. Sleep is necessary though. Yep, exactly. Exactly. Um, Julia was working a late shift and I wanted to make her dinner so uh, we had stir fry and uh, she didn't get home until like 11.30? No, it was closer. It was probably more like 12.10. my mind even not wash the tomatoes really well that's that's nice of you stir fry is great agreed it's a little less great when you can't have um, soy sauce or rice no soy sauce and rice with stir fries it just it hurts a little bit honestly you're in the same time zone as well. Nice. Why are we all awake still? Vod food is great. I know. He fed me. Uh, so you might attempt Vod instead of bumping the noise canceling up. So hi for something like that. You might consider adding a compressor limiter. Yeah, yeah, uh, Swifty. I. You know, actually, I can. No, it's the, it's, right now it's the shower that it's canceling out. I could just, you, I'm an idiot. You can quote me on that. I'm an idiot. I actually have a compressor on. Um, I think what I need to do is turn the compressor up so it's, you know, doing more work with the loud bits while I'm doing cooking streams. This is like, this is the inaugural, inaugural stream, cooking stream. Um, you'd hear stuff but nothing would be ear killing exactly. Sensually. Return to the lurk as I slip out and join Gooder Wife. Oh, enjoy them, Gooderness. They're amazing and you never, you never know how much time you're going to get. Enjoy it. Uh, I assume that everyone washes upon using the bathroom. It's be Yeah, it's true. It's better not to worry about that one. Baron Divinity Original Sin 2 is my life. Right? That's why you're up? Yeah. I'm having a hard time maintaining the amount of, uh, the small amount of sleep that I usually get because I'm not having, um, I'm not having soda. So I'm not having that sugar buzz or the, uh, caffeine associated with it. Wait, gain down. Oh. Okay, that probably will do it. Yeah, that makes sense. Because without the uh, the noise cancellation, we're getting more. Thank you, Thanto, for pointing that out. We'll see that. Oh, it's just a bruise. We're fine. Uh, you want to set a higher compression level threshold. It should be at a low level, fast attack, and fast release. That's how I. That's actually how I have it set up. Fast attack, fast release. That way, it's not noticeable or as noticeable. Uh, it's about time to close this bag.
Oh, I did. I did. You know those Greek paintings with the uh, people feeding someone grapes while they're laying on a oh a chaise lounge? It was like that. So it mainly activates when the volume spikes. Exactly. Um, I do drink coffee, but prior to Whole30, I uh, would put, you can judge me if you want, I put damn near equal parts coffee and heavy cream. Um, the heavy cream has, you know, a natural sweetness to it, and so between that, uh, the natural sweetness and then the you know, bitterness cutting quality of cream, um, it, it made it so it go, it went down like, well, no, it didn't even go down like water. Water goes down harder than that stuff. So I'm having a difficult time adjusting to, um, coconut cream in it. The mixing is to layer multiple compressors in series. Interesting. So what effect would that have? How would that... Like, why do that as opposed to something else? Especially, or, you know, making the compressor more aggressive. You see, Swifty, I wish that you lived around here, that I could just get you out here. <coughs> um, or maybe, maybe I actually wish that I lived around you. Either way, I could just get you out here and have you, you know, work with me, teach me hands-on, because when it comes to audio stuff, I know more than your average bear, but nowhere near as much as a lot of people I know that unfortunately are nowhere near me. I was a very soft one. Use milk and hot chocolate mix. A little down, got it from half hot chocolate to a little teaspoon of cocoa. Nice. Nice. If I cared for chocolate, I probably would just do like cacao powder or cocoa powder. Um, and that would make it, you know, palatable. Um, I did remember today, and I actually tweeted about this, uh, but I remember the trick from Alton Brown that if your coffee is too bitter, you just add a pinch of, a pinch or two of salt and the salt is phenomenal at cutting the bitterness. Don't really like coffee. Pretty for the effect, not the taste. Yeah. And gets the bean grinder going. Let's see. One compressor with Super high settings has a harsh effect on its sound. Two in series accomplishes a similar effect with a more pure audio source. And a lot of times it works better than one compressor with aggressive settings. Ah. Uh, yeah, yeah, salt. Um, so today I actually had the first cup of coffee since we've been doing the Whole30 diet that uh, I wasn't like cringing my way through. Um, it was really nice. Um, and I actually do really enjoy the flavor of coffee, provided it's good coffee made well. Unfortunately, at least around here, good coffee is not cheap coffee. And so we're, we're going through a lot of coffee that we got given for Christmas. And um, the people who give coffee don't necessarily, you know, have the same taste in coffee or even good taste in coffee, if we're being honest. But yeah. Don't need more salt in your life. Fair. That's fair. See, I actually know a couple of uh, a couple of guys who have um, have high blood pressure, and they actually switched to a plant-based diet where they were like eating nothing. They were basically vegetarian. Um, and they managed to bring that down to amazing effect. It's amazing what veggies will do for you. 
like honestly, were it not for my love of meat, beef in particular, um, I, I would probably be vegetarian. But the fact of the matter is I enjoy a good steak or, um, you know, beef fajitas way too much to go vegetarian. Uh, chances you will consume too much salt a day depending on how much you use in your food. Yeah, and it also depends on, on individuals. Like, I think we all know that person that salts everything and is, is freaking crazy healthy. Sorry, I'm that guy. Now, I don't salt food until I've tasted it. And if I'm eating at your house, there's a good chance I won't salt the food that you've prepared for me, um, even if I feel like it needs it. Our honeymoon Hawaii coffee, oof, yeah. Too much processed food and too low water, yep, that'll do it for sure. And see, that's a big part of the thing that a, a veggie-based diet, you know, dominantly vegetables will do for you, is it's really, really difficult to eat processed and still eat vegetables. I mean, you can do it, but you're going to burn out on it pretty quickly. You'll have to venture into fresh veggies pretty quickly. Given what I do to veggies to make them palatable, I doubt it would help me that much. And the lack of self-control. Don't we all suffer from that? It's just where do you suffer from that? I think we all have self-control issues uh, on with something, on something. I know I can I can get a little uh, a little overzealous a little much with uh, doing stream stuff. Oh, Julia needs to get by the camera. Can you go like mute and go to break screen real quick. Yeah, uh, I'll be right back. Guys. All right, I'm back. Let's see. Sorry. Catch up. Catch up on chat real quick. Catch up on chat. Catch up on chat. Tell What's what I eat? Out. Stormy, get out. Hey, get out. Go. You're welcome. Uh, my cat listens to me even. Oh, yeah, let me fix the zoom. After all, I'm gonna leave this all set up. So the plan here, guys. Catch up on chat real quick. Uh, most of what I eat, I make from scratch. That's fantastic. I wish that I could say, well, actually for the past four days I can say that. Um, let's see, what else? Question, if I move to the other side of the chopping block and sit, it's fucking perfect. 
Like, that couldn't be more perfect. If I open a pack of Oreos and don't completely finish them in the same sitting, my fiance may die of shock. There was a time for me, there was a time where that would have been me. Uh, but it was the Oreo Thins. They're like crack cocaine. I think they have crack cocaine in them. For me, I don't care about. Care for Oreos, store bought cookies in general. Yeah. I actually, Oreos are the only store bought cookies that I'll eat, to be blunt. We've had people, like, hosted a party, had people bring, you know, like Keebler um, chocolate chip cookies and things like that, and I just don't eat them. I feel kind of bad because, you know, they're bringing them over for people to eat, and I'm just like, I'll take a pass. Thanks. I just want to care for most of our cookies, chocolate Oreos. With, um, when I don't feel like it's a waste of money. Frames? Are we dropping? Oh yeah, we are. We are dropping some frameage. You probably can't hear me very well when I'm talking, when I sit here. I need to do like, I think I need to wind, I think I'm going to wind up with, so I'm going to buy a uh, Bluetooth remote. Uh, you know, a presenter's remote so that I can do scene changes and mute. Um, and what I'm thinking is, I'm thinking I'm going to uh, actually set up both of my. So I've got my Razor Siren that Julia won at TwitchCon year before last, and then I've got my Blue Yeti that I use. And I'm thinking I'm going to wind up with both mics set up and set to like the same settings but have it so that I can independently mute or unmute them. Um, that way I could have like the siren over here that's catching the majority of what's going on here, or maybe better yet, the siren there and the Yeti there. Um, well, more precisely up here. Um, that way you get good audio when I'm looking that way and good audio when I'm looking that way. And it also let me bring down all of my settings um, so that, oh, you can hear me well when I'm sitting there? Cool. Um, that would let me bring down all of my settings as well, uh, which means less background noise. There was one thing I wanted to do. I don't remember what it was. Damn it. Okay. Well. on the right, another on the left. I could do that. Swifty. Yeah, I could do that for sure. Uh, yeah, I don't feel like that would give me really fucked up sounding audio. I could do both of them and I could have the mute key bound to both of them so I could mute or unmute the audio that way. That sounds like a good idea. I'll, I'll have to play around with that, Swifty. Spanks, dude. Uh, okay, so I think that's really gonna do it for today. We got all of, so we did the stir fry. The plan had been, I was gonna start the cooking stream well before Julia got home. I was gonna do the ketchup, have that knocked out, all done, uh, before she even was close to home, probably before she even left work. And then I was gonna do the uh, stir fry. Hey, y'all behave. I'm sure you just deafened like half of half of chat. No, you stay there. Don't you pass it? Back, get back. Good girl. Uh, anyway, and then the plan was when she got home, stir fry would be done, stream would be done. Best laid plans of mice and men didn't work out. Uh, when recording drums, you generally just mix mic signals of many mics to get the proper sound. Do it that way, just mix, the, mix them both together instead of meeting. Yeah, I like that idea. It, it's a lot, it's a lot more hands off too, because I could just leave it on unless I needed to, you know, cut all sound for some reason. 
I think that's what I'm gonna do, and since it's on a different PC that I'm streaming, I should be able to um, <clears throat> get them mixed well. And since it's, I won't have to do like a separate profile or anything. I'll just anytime I do a creative stream, have it set up right or a cooking stream. I'm sure when I do woodworking or uh, or metalworking, I'm gonna have to do it differently. Uh, Swifty, I'm probably gonna shoot you uh, when I get the blacksmithing setup done. I'm probably gonna shoot you a message. Um, because I, I'm gonna have to do some crazy shit with audio, I think. Um, I deal, basically, I don't wanna have to mute it when I'm striking the, ha uh, the hammer on, on whatever I'm working on. And it's a really fucking loud noise. Um, so, I mean, I know with a no uh, a hard limiter I could do that, but I'd like to do it in a way that doesn't, you know, just... All of a sudden, sound cuts out and comes back, cuts out and comes back, because it's really jarring. Um, do it on Discord? Yeah, sounds good, man. Where's the food? Wholesome Dave, we just finished up um, for today. So, yeah, actually, thank you, Dave. That brings us back around, full circle. So, we did the, uh, the stir fry. Compressors or limiters will be what you want for that. That's what I was thinking. Makes you wonder how blacksmithing shows on YouTube do it. YouTube it's easy because it's all done in post. <clears throat> so when they go to edit their video, they can literally take the audio feed when they're, you know, smithing, when they're striking the anvil. And if they wanted to get crazy with it, they could go in and, you know, turn the audio down every time they strike, or just when they have that shot where they're, you know, actively hammering, just bring the levels down. Um, yeah, and they mix ult multi multiple multiple audio tracks. Yep. So there was one guy that I was watching who he actually had um, when he was smithing his shot when he was active actively hammering. You could tell the audio was coming from the built-in microphone on whatever camera he was using, and then when he was you know doing this sort of deal. Um, the audio quality was tremendously better and you could tell it was, you know, probably a Blue Yeti, a Siren, something like that. Um, anyway, now that we've gone down that rabbit hole, it's freaking, what, 2.30 in the morning, so of course I'm going to go down any rabbit hole you show me. Um, tomorrow we are going to take our frozen uh, brain work. Come on, you can do this frozen tomatoes and basically what we do for ketchup is you cook it um, and you take a spice bag, throw the spice bag in there uh, to give it, because that's an interesting thing about ketchup is it's not just tomatoes. Um, that kind of tastes, I mean it tastes good, it tastes like tomatoes, but it doesn't taste like ketchup. So uh, mix those spices in and then you cook it for a little bit longer with the spices in it. Um, and take your spices out puree it. Um, I'll probably cook it down a little after that. Uh, the recipe that I was looking at says you're done at that point, but I want to probably thicken it up a little bit, so I'll cook it down some. Uh, but that'll happen if I stream tomorrow. That's what you should expect, um, is me doing that. Because I am working a full shift tomorrow at the restaurant instead of uh, a half shift. Normally I work until 3 and then start streaming at five. I'll probably be working until seven or eight. Um, yeah, I would say that's that's a pretty accurate estimate. I mean, we could sell out early. If we do sell out early, then I'll probably come home, take a little nap, and then knock out the ketchup, move the cameras back into uh, my office and we'll do Minecraft or something like that. Never tried making ketchup. I do want to try tomato paste sometime. Oh yeah. So ketchup is my first endeavor. Um, if this turns out well, I plan to try tomato paste. And the reason is making ketchup from scratch it doesn't, it's, it's a lot of volume. 
So if I make tomato paste, a lot less volume, and I can then take that tomato paste and, you know, make ketchup with that. Uh, add some fresh tomatoes, so on and so forth. I could get up can modify to make some very good French dressing. Ooh, I bet it could. All right, so that's gonna do it for tonight, guys. Um, I'm actually gonna do something I don't normally do. Well, you know what? We're gonna raid someone. Let me see who's live. I'm gonna do it on here. I'm gonna see if I can do it on here. Um, so let me see who's live. Interesting, I started with canned tomatoes slash tomato sauce. Um, okay. Who is live? OG Aristotle. Mm, okay. That's it? Man, that is, that's way less than our normally live. That's crazy. Well, it's also fucking the middle of the night. We're gonna host Sing Vogel. It's been eons since we've been able to host her. Oh, sweet. Uh, can I mute that? No, I can't. That's super stupid. Uh, X Sing Vogel X. So let me go back to my channel and chat. Uh, we're gonna do the raid call first, exclamation, R-A-I-D, we'll put a space, so that wouldn't work, let me, there we go. Cool. So there is the raid call, and then slash R-A-I-D, X-I-D, O-G-L-E, E-L? B-O-G-E-L. Uh, Alright guys, so y'all know what to do. Y'all will see a uh, spot for you to click that says join raid. Just copy that raid call, which if you're on mobile like I am, doesn't work. Which is epically stupid. Um, <laughs> but, copy that raid call, and when we get into chat, drop that shit. Thank y'all for joining me in the first ever cookie stream. Y'all have an amazing night. Well, morning, I guess, technically. And we'll see you later. Night.